hands up so we can get you some free uh, control wristbands. So, as a heads up with these wristbands, if you stop by our booth later or meet any one of our representatives see you throughout the hall, this entire weekend we're just going to be giving away free stuff to people who are wearing these bands. So, if we see you like walking through like, the hall, or if we see you in a subway, we see like, oh, you have a wristband? Let me get that sandwich for you. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to be a subway, but it's going to be... <laughs> I guess I'll get a wristband. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of people over here. Sailor B, Sailor B. There are people over here who would need some wristbands. Hey, give me one. I want free stuff. <laughs> so, um, and also, at the very end of this, people that have received a blue ticket, we're going to be uh, doing a little raffle for your patience. Um, and kicking off your beautiful Otacon 2012 weekend with us here at the Crunchyroll panel. We're going to give away some free swag because Woo! that's how to start a con off. Start off the con by giving away free swag.
bringing us content, up-to-date content. We have writers in Japan. Uh, we have guest writers all the time that write like columns, and it's all up-to-date. A lot of it is like wacky stuff. <laughs> what, was, what was the craziest story that you posted? That I posted? That, that, that you saw. Oh, that I saw? Um, I think that like Mecha Girl Strip Club was kind of awesome. Did you guys see that? Go <laughs> on. Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> 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 Do we have video? Um, there is no video. It's all up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can make a video. You go and make a video. But yeah, that was uh, probably the, the most recent wacky story out of Japan. Also, um, you know, we have cool coverage, like the Tatsunoko Cafe. You know, there's not just like really nerdy stuff that I want, but, but it's not here. We also get pretty serious, like, you know, cover the, the whole um, Aurora, Colorado incidents. Yeah. Um, Our events fun and very funny party. 
Isn't there also an affiliate program with that as there well? There is. It's called, you see, that's the one I forget about, you know, because uh, I think it's all about uh, fun. Yes, yeah, but it's, uh, it's also a way for people to, to, cash, to cash in. So, our principal investors are not only paid in promotion, but they are actually paid with cash money. We give them a URL on our site that they can send their friends to, and for every free trial that one of their friends signs up for and then converts to an actual membership, they get $5. So they cost $6.95, and they get five of that every time it happens. So if you have a fan page of you know, 40K, and a little portion of those people sign up and then convert, you know, that's a good chunk of cash that you can buy a lot of crap going with. Because come on, like being a cosplayer, you guys need to buy wigs, yeah. you guys need to buy craft foam, all that, all that cloth and fabric. All That's all not cheap. Stuff, all the stuff. And you know, video viewers, you know, they can buy swag. We'll exactly. send them swag, we send you guys prizes, we try to help you out as much as we possibly can in exchange for, you know, you guys watching Anime Virtual. So, um, if any of you guys are anime viewers, cosplayers, or if you're interested, interested? Interested. Interested. It's a hard word. Interested, I, I don't know. Which, um, it's the only language I know, I don't know it. Um, you can sign up actually, um, we have a landing page, virtual.com slash ambassadors. You can stop by the booth and get more information, but it has all the information there on how to sign up and how to be a part of our program. And let's just get a little word from these girls. How are you guys liking it so far? It is pretty new. It's been about going for about a month, and they're some of our first ambassadors. So how do you guys like it? I really like it so far because um, I feel like I can meet lots of other people. I've met lots of other cosplayers across from the USA. Um, Megan and I are actually from Canada. We drove down here. She's from Ottawa, and I'm from Toronto. So it's a long drive. So getting to connect with other people across the world, basically, because it's not just for people in the USA and Canada, but everywhere. So getting to be able to meet other people is a really great experience. Yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> what about you, Cora? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, I, I really like that I got to meet a lot of cosplayers that I've already seen around, and now I get to interact with them. And Hopefully we're going to do projects together and collaboration, so it's, it's a lovely little country little friend. Yes, it is, it is. That's what we're going for, that's what we're going for. We actually just added a pretty big name to our country ambassador we family. Did. Um, we, add? we added a, probably one of the most famous cosplayers in Asia. In Asia? In Asia. You think most of these people might know who she is? I, I think the cosplayers would know who she is. If you guys know who Elodia is. She was just signed on to be one of our French Royal Ambassadors, so she's going to be doing work for us in the Philippines and Singapore and all over Asia, and she actually flew down to San Francisco and hung out with us, and it was a good time. So we are looking for people, you don't have to be in the U.S. at all, you can be from anywhere, especially we're looking for a lot of people in Brazil right now. So if you know any, you know, cosplayers or video reviewers that have a lot of presence down there, go ahead and send them my way. And also, we just want to help, like, fans, really. That's, yeah. like, that's really the part of the Ambassador program, is to, like, reward fans who are like really into the culture and exactly. just like let them get more involved. And just yeah, they can cosplay what they want, they can do what they want. Yep. We just want them to have French roll memberships. And, and fun. <laughs> and fun. Yeah. Fun is the bottom line. Yeah, so that's great. Give it up for our lovely cosplayers, guys. <laughs> so, when we uh, did this presentation for the first time, we had a lot of coming attractions to Crunchyroll, a lot of brand new titles because that's what we're all about. Um, so we, uh, as you can see, we added, uh, in the past few months, we've added about six brand new uh, catalog titles to our site, um, ranging anywhere from Madoka to Anohana, yeah, which really just, awesome. you know, tears. tears. All the tears. So many Always. tears. Why did you name, like, the two sad ones from that picture? I, like, it's, 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 it's the only two that I cried at, really. It's, <laughs> I cried anyways, yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't really cry at Sam, but uh, <laughs> there, there was, there's no reason for me to cry at Sam, really. Um, but we have um, Digimon, Night Raid, Five Rain, Sam, Marga, and of course Anohana, as mentioned. Yes. So these are the um, catalog titles that we've added to our site. And then um, we have Mo Drama, Foyo Mama, um, a lot of K drama. You really love that! Yes, I record no, that. Okay, yes. <laughs> because games had to be serious. We can be fun and like real. That's true. That's true. Um, so we have. <laughs> drama for your mama. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we have a lot of K dramas, and we're constantly adding um, brand new K dramas to our site, as well as Japanese dramas. Um, some Chinese ones. Some Chinese ones as well, as, uh, and we're definitely expanding out to as many regions in Asia as possible. Um, we're also uh, we started simulcasting uh, Doctor Jin. Woo. So that's uh, that's very exciting. Um, it's based on the Japanese manga, but then translated into a, a Korean drama. So that's if you're into you know, you know, all those things. Yeah. 
Boys over flowers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, if you guys are new to Crunchyroll, we also give away free concert tickets every now and then. Um, we uh, we give away game tickets. Yeah, you guys see me in a concert? Uh, Cheryl, no. Oh, it was amazing. Um, we got to see Stereo Pony, uh, Jay Park, and I think there's another concert coming up that we may get tickets away for. And that you haven't told me about it? I haven't told you about it yet because we're still working on it, but okay. it's going to be big. Okay. Oh my god, wait. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to I think you know. I think you know it, yeah. We, we'll, we'll announce it to you guys. You got to stay tuned because yes. we're working on it. But then we also give tickets away to the fans. Yes, it's mostly to the fans. Mostly, yeah. I have to like scream. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we have uh, 14 continuing simulcast titles. Um, Ranging from, as you can see, there's a long list of them. Space Brothers. Space Brothers. Panda Cafe. Okay, Panda. Polar Bear Cafe. Uh, there is a panda in there, but it's a, a Polar Bear Cafe. He's not, he was on the exercise. Uh, the Nanto spin off, <laughs> uh, Rocket into Ninja Pals, Poyo Poyo, Skit Dance, uh, Saint Seiya Omega. Yes! Of course, Naruto Shipman, uh, Folk Tales from Japan, Five Rain, um, The Night in the, the, night area. In the area, Hunter Hunter, Kuriko's Basketball, which I think you're a big fan of. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Um, and of course, the Awesome fairy tale. Yeah. Fairy tales. Um, but then we've actually added on our first piece of cast that we've announced on site was Oda no Oda The ambition of Oda no If you guys haven't started watching it, it is a Sengoku sort of period place anime about its harem as well. It's also probably mine. You would classify it as all of these things. But it's very different. Do not shy away from it because you see one guy and a bunch of feudal lords shaped in. Shape has little girls. Why don't we turn away from that? I don't know. <laughs> I turned away from that. I'm just, I'm just, I <laughs> almost didn't give it a chance, but then I gave it a chance. The main character is, how do I say this without um, you. a bad word? <laughs> the main character is me, but also, I mean, the boy. The boy is not a, he actually has a backbone. There we go. Someone is strong-willed. Yes, he's strong-willed. It's really funny, too, because he, uh, He's used to playing like these games that have these characters in it, and so he gets transported into the past, and he's like, what do I do? Like, I thought Oda Nobunaga was a man, but she's a woman now, and all the feudal lords are actually feudal princess warriors and stuff. And um, he plays uh, games at home based on Sengoku era stuff, and so he knows what's going to happen, so he's like, don't go over there, like, they're waiting, and they're like, how do you know this? And so they keep him alive just because he knows, like, he's their new tactician in war. It's really funny. He gets stepped on by me a lot, so that's why I like it. <laughs> so synthetic. Okay. Also, totally clips. We have totally clips. Sort of a uh, Evangelion esque plug suits, girls, bouncing, lots of bouncing in this one. It's a love love title based on the old VN. I don't know if anybody in here played that, but um, totally clips is an old VN game. Um, basically, aliens are attacking, and women need to get in plug suits and fight the aliens. And um, the other time that we announced was uh, Yuri Yuri, and it's a very cute title about four girls who are part of this thing called the Yuzumi Club. Um, it is a kind of band like tea ceremony room in their in their school, but it's like it's a, okay. uh, just a group of girls just having like, a bunch of wacky adventures, and it seems like it seems very easy to dismiss. Yeah. But it's actually really funny. There's a lot of very endearing moments, a little bit of like a you know shoujo eyeish moments, but at the same time, it's like it's it's entertaining. It's one of those things that you know. Just, Why is I describing the show in titles and you're describing Yuri Yuri? I don't know. Because I don't. I haven't started watching you. Why, why you got in here like that? I just know this. I mean, you like all of it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyways. Recent additions. Recent additions. The ones that we announced right after that. Um, we just acquired, um, after that, we got Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere, Season 2. Um, season 1 was very confusing. It was, yes. like, it was like all over the place. So you need this. So you need to, to like, kind of wrap it all together. It's, it's like watching Godfather 2 without watching Godfather 1. So you really kind of know what's going on, but not really, so you kind of give them all to be. It's a good time, though. It's pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. But then number two, you know, explains a little bit more. Um, one of the other shorts that we also part was Chitose Genshi. Um, another very cute title. A little bit like ambiguous and it's, uh, in what goes on, but really? yeah. But we'll let. I'm afraid of it, Very, very, very. <laughs> um, Kampione. So I can't do H. And so I can't do H. Awesome. I wonder what that's about. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch it. I don't anything about that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's self explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> um, Next slide, please. Okay. Um, human beings decline. Uh, that's so good. The 
This is one of your favorite titles, yes. actually, from the season. Is anybody watching who really has a client? You guys like it? Yeah. It's amazing, right? Wait, what is it about? I can't even tell you what it's about. No, I mean, what, what do you like about this show, though? Like, I know you do. It's sort, it's sort of did the Monica thing to you. Okay. It's like, this is really cute and fun. Oh, God, everything's terrible. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's really bad. It's like finding a Tom Mary. You're like, oh, look at that. Whatever. And then it's just, oh. Stab. It's the uh, anime equivalent of a Tom Mary. And then, uh, so the next title we have is Not Too Good Rock And um, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Ghost, but it's very, something very similar to that. But with that movie over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why would I watch it then? I want to know. Can they look down at what movie will be over? They really should. They should. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Can we know. please talk to TV Talk? Yeah, we'll talk to TV Talk. Just so we can make it like an anime with Whoopi Colbert. <laughs> and Robin Williams. Oh! <laughs> yes! Robin <laughs> Williams! Robin Williams! Robin Williams. <laughs> Too much because it's like. I feel like what I said though is enough. Like you're gonna want to watch it now. You just like um, assume what's gonna happen. And then uh, of course, um, Arkana um, This I mean, if you like Kaka Kyoshi, Hitman, or Born, then I have a feeling you're gonna really enjoy this title. Um, yeah, someone's like, okay, let's get more of it. Woo! Yeah. Um, and I think it moves a lot. It moves a lot faster in the game than we Born did, so oh. that's that's good. Um, sort of online. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> is, that, is done by Studio C. So if you remember Steam Boy, um, Kung Fu Love, um, all the animated shorts that Studio 4C comes out with all the time. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, so the anime is very beautiful. Yeah. It's really short, so you can grab it and like it. Um, also, Speaking of, you know, going back to some of the inappropriate-ish titles that we've, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not being emo, but Little Sister is among them. Um, That's yours. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> wait! What does wait, that mean? Wait. Wait. So, it's, it's... Okay, I knew it was called the Bible, but I've never read the English language. the text that we put on there. And I'm just wondering, Little Sister is among who? So you know that movie... <laughs> Some of the other movies with like, uh, what's his name, Chris O'Donnell, he's like a bachelor and he has like 30 women that he needs to choose from. Well, it's kind of like the situation, but this guy has to choose, you know, um, someone to marry, but it's like one of his, his, his little sister, his strange little sister, and she's in the mix. Does she know? Um, they don't know, so it's kind of like that Luke Leia thing, but it's, it's a lot, a lot more. It's a lot more than that, than that one scene in front of Han Solo, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's gonna get real up in that. Um, so, so, are you gonna be watching this game? I just described what's going on. <laughs> Why don't you talk about Hawk Loki? Let's move on. I think that's enough of that. Do we have any Hakuoki fans in the audience? <laughs> yeah, so you know, she knows, but... Hakuoki is gorgeous. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a, it's a reverse harem. Uh, feudal demons, cowboys. Uh, cowboys. Really terrible things happen. Did someone say cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. 
Like, think of the one title you want to control. One title. I mean, I don't know. It's a lot. Uh, for me. Okay, for you. Like, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's, you know, I'm not a snob. I'm snobby. <laughs> so I'm sure they like it. Okay, anyways. Anyways. You have to wait. A lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline, so just stay tuned. Um, again, thank you guys very much for sitting through, listening to us jabber on about all sorts of anime fun and making inappropriate comments. We'll keep talking about one girls. Because you didn't want to talk about it. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you need prize time. You know, we got prize for you guys. Yeah. So one last prize thing. Time. One last thing I forgot to tell you guys, for the people that are came in a little bit late, if you guys have these orange wristbands, throughout the entire weekend, as I mentioned, if we see anyone wearing these bands, we're not going to tell you when we're going to be walking around. We might tweet it. Giving out these prizes. We might tweet it. Yes. We might let you guys so follow our If you follow players. Crunchyroll or at Sailor B, I will be tweeting saying, you know, find Oda no Oda, and if you're wearing a Crunchyroll band, I will, be, I will have prizes. Find me, tackle me, be so, nice, but I'll give you guys a um, If you don't have an orange band, you can come pick one up afterwards. Um, and yeah, we'll just be giving our prizes all weekend long. Like I said before, if uh, you see that subway too, like, and you see us wearing these orange shirts, I might just be like, I'm gonna buy you a sandwich. Yes! Or, <laughs> or, or I don't know. Give you a membership. Give you a membership, yeah. Give you a year, whatever, just find us. You can wear one of these. Actually, you might like more than one. Yeah. <laughs> then you might get a sandwich, like a football. One, you'll get like a half. A half. Six, six, get a bite. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see, should we do a Q&A first or should we just go straight let's to the Let's do the Q&A first. Let's do Q&A first. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let us know, starting with uh, the front. Stand up and come to the front if you are in the back. Just curious, with Fairy Kill, how can you only play in the last four episodes? So the question was, for Fairy Tale, why are we only playing the last four episodes? That is actually due to the publisher requests. Um, Ideally, what we'd like to do is actually have like all of our series have them all uh, all the time. However, um, the rights holders have uh, sent a personal request for us to only have a window for four episodes at a time. So once a new episode becomes available, um, the next episode kind of recycles down into the to the details of the archive. Um, unfortunately, we I mean we've been definitely working on trying to open it up again and allow all the episodes to be streamed, but um, it's a slow process. And, but we're that's one of the, the main priorities that we have. Um, anyone else? Yes. Yes. Do you anticipate any HD support for Roku boxes, and if so, when? Um, question was, do we have um, support for HD on Roku, and if so, when? Um, HD on Roku is something, again, that's on our timeline. We have a lot of other things rolling out, um, like you mentioned, with um, you know, iOS, Android, PS3. But we're not, obviously, Roku is like a huge part of like you know how we distribute anime, and like, I even have a Roku as well, so that is something that is we're also working on as well. So I think, I don't have a timetable for it yet, but we can expect something hopefully, maybe within the next year or so is, is our goal. Ideally we want to have, uh, we want to present the anime the best we can on each and every platform. And for any questions regarding, you know, if you're going to get this, if you're going to get that, we, we do strive to get every title. We want a complete collection on Crunchyroll eventually. So yes. even with Fairy Tale, that's why we're working very hard to get the rest of it. Because I mean, if you're new to Fairy Tale, you want to go and watch it, you know. It's really right now only accessible to people that are caught up. So we want to get all of it. And it's up to Keith here to the sweet talk to can. <laughs> I don't know after that will not be one thing. I don't think we're gonna be <laughs> um, any other questions that uh you. Oh, oh someone yeah. would, you wanna give you and the closer in the glass. So the question was, we talked about PS3, um, Xbox, and what we, what we have on Xbox 360. Um, you know, we would definitely love to be on Xbox, and you know, it's something that you know, obviously is on our timeline. I, I keep, I keep sounding like a broken record, but it's something that we're always working toward. And you know, we've got a very small scrap group of developers who are just working really hard at everything. So, um, you know, we're, we're hoping for it, but it. yeah, one, one step at a time. And once we finish with PS3, then maybe. We can start focusing on other other aspects, but um, you know, just all you need to do is just stay tuned to Crunchyroll for more information, and um, that information will be available to you guys as soon as we can. Um, to the yeah, you have to in front. You had started talking.
whether it's a blog or on video. Um, if you do, if you're an artist, if you do manga or jojin or fan art, things like that, there are avenues you can pursue with us that way. Um, what do you do that you that you would question about? We do have a job site on the um, on the website, and um, it'll say now hiring for things, and you can apply. It's really easy. Just send your resume to jobs at Crunchyroll, and maybe keep can explain a little more about that. Yeah. So the question was um, more involvement in the ambassador program in terms of whether or not you're a cosplayer or not, and um, your question was more focused on licensing. Yes. So um, again, we have a, a large list of jobs, uh, job listing on our site, and we're always looking for just very passionate, very experienced people who want to help the anime industry grow and work with Japan and a lot of the Asian countries to help bring the content over and spread it to the rest of the world. So the best avenue is to actually check out the, the jobs that we have available. We have a large listing anywhere from being a developer to an artist to being a cosplayer. Um, that's pretty much like the ambassador of one. Yeah. Um, and so just, you know, you can check all the job descriptions there and if you feel that, you know, you qualify for a, you know, a particular job and send us your resume and we'd be more than happy to, you know, um, follow up with you and talk to you guys and talk to you more about it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, what? Uh, we have, let's see, for drama, we have, I'd say, like, over 225. And for anime, we're probably cracking over maybe, like, 250. Um, probably over 300 at this yeah, point. Yeah, over 300. Over 300, so. And the monthly fee, um, so if you sign up at, the, at our booth downstairs, um, it's, you get the first 30 days for free. And then every month after that is only going to be $6.95 for unlimited access. You get HD quality, um, subs, and then one hour after broadcast um, from Japan. And uh, no ads. So, um, so that's like, you know, that's probably the best part about the whole thing. And plus, as you guys know, most of the proceeds that we get from memberships, we actually give right back to Japan, to all the publishers, the voice actors, the artists, and make sure that, you know, they get a paycheck so that they can eat, keep doing it, keep doing it and yeah. keep making amazing titles. So, mm -hmm. um, so awesome. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, there's someone in the back over there, in the corner. Will you stream Makoto Shinkai's works again? Will we stream Makoto works again? Um, so every year, I think around March or April, we open up a lot of Makoto Shinkai's works, um, including place prompts on early days, five centimeters per second, um, voices of a distant star, on our site, and we leave it open for about a week. Um, Makoto Shinkai has been amazing. Yeah, Makoto Shinkai week. And, and it's called uh, Global Shinkai Day, and it's pretty much last for a week, and we just, that's the only time that we can open it up. Um, he's been very gracious and allowed us to do that. Normally he would not let anyone do it, but he's very cool about it, so that's, we definitely appreciate that. Um, so that's probably coming up in March or April, so that's probably the best time to watch it. And then the girl that was next to him, did you start your question? Okay, so the question was, uh, when, you, when you're on Crunchyroll, you get achievements, and is there a point to that? Um, yes, yeah, so just to get the badges, they're fun, come on! <laughs> yeah, they're just virtual items that you collect, and honestly, I, it's like I judge people by what achievements have on it's like Pokemon, right? You just gotta collect them all. Like trophies. <laughs> yeah. you got trophies on your wall. It's like. You know. but I mean, they're cool. I mean, sometimes we come up with cool, like new badges and things that are only available like by competing in certain contests and stuff that you can get. I mean, I think they're fun. It just yeah. adds another element to the trading card. Yeah, yeah, just we're all collectors, so we yeah. it's one more thing to collect. One thing. And then the clock will show up. Give me that badge. I work. They won't give it to me unless I actually do it. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's just something fun. Yeah. Well, we have a question over here. Uh, back on Makoto Shinkai, um, are you guys looking at getting Children to Chase voices from people love? That is something that we would love to get. Um, actually, we gave away um, we have signed, signed copies. copies of the, the Blu-ray from Makoto Shinkai during the last Global Shinkai Day. So, um, we also have a script from that as well. So, and a signed uh, script from invitations to um, 5 centimeters per second. Yeah. All signed by him. So he sends us a bunch, of, a bunch of stuff during the week, and we usually give it away on our live show, or we'll do contests for it. So hopefully we will have his newest work during that particular week, and also check it out because you can win some really cool rare stuff. Uh, let's see. There was uh, someone over here, and then we're gonna go over here, and then back there. <laughs> so start with. So 
question is, um, from all the catalog and all the series that we have on our site, how long can we keep them on the site? Um, ideally, forever. Uh, as long as we're around, we want to keep that around and keep that up and running. Um, sometimes there are issues where we need to take something off because either we're going to make a DVD box set or there's you know, a special edition of something's coming out, and at which point we have to take the, the you know, temporarily take it down. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily gone because it has the potential of coming back once the DVD's out and you know it's fully spread out to the rest of the, you know, the world. Um, but ideally, I mean, bottom line is pretty much forever. Cool. So why are all of the episodes limited to four at a time in some cases, as you said? Why would the publisher do that? So the question is why four episodes at a time and why would the publisher want to do that? Um, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it's just, uh, Ideally, like we said, we want to make everything out there. I mean, have everything out there at the same time because who wants to watch like four random episodes at any given point, especially if you haven't caught up. Um, but you know, especially for like if the DVD is coming out or there's they have a special promotion coming up, sometimes or like, there's an arrangement with a TV station, um, the, the content publishers or the rights holders want to actually hold off on keeping everything out there just to. Um, you know, really help promote and not cannibalize all these Yeah, avenues. it helps us not compete over the same thing. And like, um, we share licenses with other, you know, companies and stuff. And if they want to do something, we'll be like, okay, we'll back off. So you can do that. And they do that for us sometimes and stuff. Just so the anime, it's all about the anime. It's all about promoting the anime. Like, we don't care about um, who gets to do it. You know, we just like the show. So we'll go ahead and do that. And um, eventually we do want to get it all, though, because we want everything. But working on it and it's really hard because you know there are other people in the world <laughs> yeah. but you know we'll, we'll take it one one step at a time and like you know well i mean as is you know it's not the best situation for us but um we're still really happy to have very tall on our site run those series on our site at least a little bit yeah just a lot of people see one hour after there's independence the, yeah the priority um we had a question somewhere here in the middle uh maybe back there So are you talking about like, the English localization in terms of voice dubbing and like subtitling? Or the, just the title. Just the, like, oh, just the title. Okay. Um, again, it's the it's whatever the publisher wants. Uh, sometimes they give us titles that don't make any sense. Um, but, like, yeah, that English is a little, a little bit uh, questionable. Yeah, they sort of will give us like a, a template, an English template, and then we'll say you should change this word to this, and then they'll check and see if it still retains the same meaning they want. We can go back and forth for a while until we come up with an English you know, localization name that fits it. But it's all up to them. Yeah. We can suggest as much as we want, but if they're like, no, you know, we can't do it. I think there was someone like right down in the middle. So we're gonna, so the question was about two titles, so we're gonna see if we're okay on time here. Higurashi and what was the second one? We can't really hear you. Be bitten? Ebi Ten. Oh, Ebi Ten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the whole licensing process takes a very long time, and you know, like I mentioned before, like our, our goal initially when we first started Crunchyroll was that we wanted to get 100% you know, of the titles streaming from Japan and then 100% of the catalog titles. It doesn't necessarily always work out that way, but... Every time a new season comes out, we go after all of them. Yeah. So we try really hard to get every single show, but that uh -huh. doesn't always happen. But we do try really hard, especially with things like Higurashi that we know have a large fan base, um, and some of the newer things as well. <coughs> you know, we try really hard to do that. And then if you, know, if you don't see it now, then that doesn't mean it will never appear. That means that we'll, we're, you know, we're still working on making sure it comes by. Yeah, we don't have um, so we're gonna take like three more questions and then uh, go straight on to the prizes because honestly that's what people are here for. Let's uh, <laughs> let's not get any of that twisted. Let's go over one and then two down here and then three over there. You sir. Are there any plans to add new features to the mobile device app? 
Are we going to add the Q feature to the mobile device? Um, I think we definitely should. That's just my personal opinion. Um, we definitely need to sync up with our development team when we get back to make sure of that. But like these types of requests, you know, with HD on Roku, the Q function, these are like great pieces for us to take back with us and be like, look, guys, we went to this huge, awesome panel, and these are what people want. So you guys better get cracking because. There's some angry fans out there banging the door down, <laughs> and they will kick it down. You look like you can kick the door down too. I'm just saying, like, you know. We think of these things too, but all we can really do is go to the developers and say, "Hey, you should do this," and they might say, "I'm working on these 400 other things right now," so it sort of gets thrown on the list. But I think we bug them enough. We can maybe so speed that up. Maybe we can try and speed it up. But yeah. like, it's definitely good to know, and like for us to take back with us, it's like you guys think so people want it. So. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll definitely try our best to put it up as soon as possible. Uh, I think middle? we had one in the middle up here. Who was it? Um, is there much of an imperative to get older uh, series or yes. movies on the show? Or yes. On the site? There is. Um, especially since I showed up. So, um, <laughs> uh, I'm a fan of like a lot of the older series, so um, we're starting to talk to the uh, licensed owners of older things um, just to sort of get them on the site. Recently we added... Um, <laughs> I really, really want Star Blazers. I don't know if that's going to happen. I want the new one too. But, um, so, yeah, we are looking at older things now, making that more of a uh, priority because you know, there is a fan base for it. Like, so, we're trying to do that. Yeah, we actually, that's hard though, right? a, lot of, a lot of times we, uh, this is actually a very like, frequent request that we get every time we, we do panels. Like, we've always asked about like, older titles from like, you know, 70s, 80s, the things we haven't licensed yet. And it's, it's definitely hard to license but it's something that we're always working on. And um, we actually have a giant wish list. So, you know, we're pretty much targeting all of those like yeah. every single time that we talk to the publisher. But sometimes the rights are a little bit tied up and we, you know, it's trying to negotiate that and make sure that it's it's okay to stream and we're trying to increase, you know, change the quality of it. Yeah, the quality is really an issue too because like how, what, like what kind of definition can you really stream like the Galaxy Express 999? You know, it's gonna look kind of funny and then people that don't realize that it's not our fault might like complain. So it's really hard to sort of get um, the quality assets to put that on our site as well. Cool. And so, Naruto. Naruto. Actually, the, the older anime question really? is going to say, very good job getting Sora. Thank you oh, guys thank very much. You. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a big win for us. All right, so looks like uh, oh, our time is up, but you know, we should, we should get Give everyone some prizes. Try to get everyone yeah. prizes. We're going to do prizes. You guys ready for prizes? <laughs> okay, so our lovely Crunchyroll ambassadors are going to help run the prize portion of the panel. So if you guys can, everybody get your tickets out. Tickets ready? Nope. Nope? <laughs> what? Nope. Okay, what did you make a lot of How about let's have Cora pick the prizes out of the box and then Sachi will pick the winner. Awesome, give her that. No, oh, wait. No, you can't keep it. 
Seven. So close. And that's why she stick to the end of all her true old habits. <laughs> I don't think there was a six six. Two away 